And here locally, last night's election saw plenty of predictable results, but also some surprises. One of the biggest is the race for Roanoke mayor, which is still too close to call. WDBJ 7's Patsy Montesinos has been following the results very closely. She joins us now. And Patsy, what's the very latest? Jean Natalie last night, Republican David Bowers was leading with 19 votes, but as more votes are counted, Bowers is now just 11 votes ahead of Democratic Vice Mayor Joe Cobb. While Bowers is calling himself the mayor elect, Cobb says he's still not conceding. A Roanoke City election is showing that every single vote counts, with only 11 votes separating Republican David Bowers and Democrat Joe Cobb. The narrow margin didn't keep Bowers from declaring himself mayor-elect Wednesday morning. And I say to the people of Roanoke that the election is over and the campaign is over and it's time for us to unify. It's time for us to, um, to begin the process of governing. But the registrar's office says 1,223 provisional ballots are yet to be counted. This week, the Roanoke City Electoral Board will verify those ballots were cast by eligible voters before counting them. Records also indicate 408 absentee ballots are outstanding, but they must be postmarked on or before November 5th and delivered before noon on Friday to be added. That is why Cobb says he is waiting for the final tally. So I'm certainly going to wait um, uh, with hope um, for all of the results to be in. When asked if he would accept the results of the certified count showed he lost, Bowers refused to answer. Uh, I th I'm accepting the results right now. I stand here before you as the mayor-elect of Roanoke. Last week, a Rona College poll projected Cobb to win by double digits over Bowers and City Councilwoman Stephanie Moon Reynolds. Though Cobb says he felt encouragement from the poll, he knew it was going to be a battle. I knew it was going to be close, and I'm, I, just to be honest, wasn't sure it would be this close. <laughs> but it is what it is, and um, I'm eager to see what the final vote tallies are once the election is certified, and I trust the process. The registrar's office doesn't anticipate to have the final results until early next week. Gene and Natalie, certainly such a close race, still too early to call. Yeah, every vote does count, doesn't it? 11 <laughs> sure does. votes separate them. Yeah, Patsy, thank you. Meanwhile, staying in Roanoke, we know who won seats on city council. Out of seven candidates, Democrats Terry McGuire and Faison Nash, along with Republican Nick Hagan, are the three to join council. Nash is the youngest to ever be elected at only 25 years old, while Hagan is the first Republican in 24 years to be elected to Roanoke's council.